Six. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tom George in for Rick Kwan tonight. And I'm Mika Miyashima. More monkeypox vaccine doses will become available tomorrow. The U.S. Health and Human Services Department announcing today it'll distribute an additional 800,000 shots to help stop the spread. Now, there's no word at this time on how many of those doses will, will be distributed to Hawaii to date. The state has received more than 1,400 doses. Meantime, much of the health guidance is being directed at the gay community. Some wonder whether that's creating homophobia as this calls to mind the AIDS epidemic from the 1980s. As KTV4's Diana Co reports, a leader in Hawaii's LGBTQ community says this reminds him of the AIDS epidemic. The World Health Organization says 98% of monkeypox virus cases confirmed since May have been among men who have sex with men. It declared the outbreak a global emergency over the weekend and advises gay, bisexual, and other men who have sex with men to reduce the number of sexual partners they have right now. At the present time, most of the monkeypox infections are in men who have sex with men. And that's simply because of the way that it's transmitted, which is by close and intimate contact. And so I think what's important is to realize that that fact must not stigmatize the treatment of the virus. This is the problem that happened with AIDS. Haleiva's Dean Hamer is a retired scientist with the National Institutes of Health with a 35-year career as a virologist. He's also prominent in Hawaii's LGBT community as the president of the Honolulu Gay and Lesbian Culture Foundation, better known for hosting the yearly Honolulu Rainbow Film Festival. He remembers when HIV AIDS was associated strongly with his community. It's a very tricky situation. It's the same thing that happened with AIDS. And the key is to realize we need to treat the virus, not the people who are infected. And we're living through it now, when Asian Americans are targeted for being associated with COVID-19. Hamer says he hasn't seen a stigma towards Hawaii's gay community so far. I haven't heard about that yet, but usually where there is misinformation and fear, some sort of violence often follows. But you can't keep on talking about it as like a gay disease because that stigmatizes gay men and makes it even more difficult for them to get access and treatment. What's important, he says, is people remember this is a virus that doesn't discriminate, and neither should you. This virus can infect anyone. Uh, it's not a gay disease. It's not a straight disease. It's a viral disease. And what's important is to treat the virus. Diana Koki, TV4 Island News. Here in Hawaii, at least 11 people have tested positive for monkeypox. According to the State Department of Health, the risk of transmission in the general public is low. If you contract the virus, you could experience flu-like symptoms, including a fever, a headache, muscle aches, chills, exhaustion, and swollen lymph nodes. Now, some people also suffer rashes and sores on their hands, feet, chest, face, and genitals. Those symptoms could show up within 21 days of exposure, and those symptoms could last anywhere between two to four weeks. You can get vaccinated to help prevent contracting the virus, and according to the state health department, vaccination works best within 14 days of exposure. The state's administering shots to people right now. To see if you're eligible or to book your appointment, you can head over to our website, KITV.com, and just search.